Onion Chingu's in is here and I'm back with a new video. This time it's a K-pop journal flip through. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of the pages I, I posted there and I decided, because my second one is almost full, I decided why not show my two journals. Um, it's Okay, this is mainly filled with EXO and only at the end I decided to put in NCT and Seventeen. Um, I marked some of my, after finishing this book, I marked some of my favorite pages with um, washi tape. And this is something I've seen from the YouTuber so far, Trash. I hope I said the name right. Um, and it's just for me to find the, the pages I like the most. Um, yeah, so shall we flip through this? Um, I started this June 2016 after I was inspired by Tongini, which probably most of you know because she's like the beginning, the inspiration of everyone to do a journal flip through. So let's just get started. Well, my first pages aren't really pretty. I wrote with pencil and I didn't have a lot of colors and stickers or washi tape. I really like this page. Um, this was when I got my portable printer, my tiny one, and um, I decided to print out Chanyol and Suho and just stick them in there before writing about um, very this time about. make some interactive things. At that time, Suho and Chanyol were my bias, and there still are um, with Chen. So, pretty started writing. Oh yeah. I just realized I started writing with ink, with blue ink, which I regret as well. But I love writing with ink, so. This was the only time I decided to write out EXO schedule once and never. It's the August 2016 schedule, and most of them are broadcast, so I. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know why I did that, I just wanted something, um, it's for Jong Dae's birthday and I did two sides, um, and then I did one for Yi Qing's birthday as well, but it didn't turn out as much as I would like, my Chinese is horrible, um, then I wrote about, um, Chen Li Qi's, um, debut, I really, I really love that unit, and I wrote about them. I can't remember what was written here. The glue from the other side just let the words completely disappear, but it was something about Bianca and NCT. I don't know. Here I wrote about NCTU and my bias list, which is, the funny thing is it's almost identical. Um, then I wrote about Ilichi's first mini album, Fire Truck, and then I wrote about my favorite unit, NCT Dream. I really like how this turned out, it's a bit playful and cute, so... Then there's a Polaroid of me, this is not so nice, so I'm... And a letter from my very first photocard trade I did with a, with a girl from Ireland. It was, I got two photo, tiny photocards I always wanted, so I'm pretty happy. And I just stuck in for Happy New Year. Um, and here we have my Limitless page, because Limitless came out in January 2017. Then Machu Machu Sarang, a Bias Rekka page, and nothing more. I really like these two pages. Um, one is for Nana, who, I'm really, who I really missed at that time, really, really, really missed. And this was for... Um, uh, around a uh, Renjun's birthday, so I sticked it in there, wrote a little bit, put a little movement in there, and then I decided to add 17. Uh, I wrote about the Nanas, and then it was Mingi's birthday, so I did a little spread. Yeah. I wrote about my bias list, which is pretty much still the same, only that DK is now like my number three, like his new bias record, and then I wrote about. What was it? 17 Carrot, Boys B, I just really got all the albums. Then, Exo Turn 5. 
I wrote a little bit, bit about EXO and Entity U turn 1. And then I wrote about Love and Letter and put my favorite songs. Like, I, I'm not good at lettering or writing. My, my handwriting isn't that pretty, but I just wanted to put something in there. Then I wrote about Ajunais. I really like this glittery washi tape. And then I wrote about Shiny and Diamond DVDs. Then about XOR Demon Japan, the DVD, and yeah, as you can see, I missed them a lot and I made a little collage because I really like the yellowish Nature Republic pictures. Then going on with yellow, I did Going 17 and uh, Watch. Then Alone. I really like how this up here turned out, but I never marked the page as my favorite. <laughs> and a little collage in beige and cream colored and my favorite song and I'm gonna hide this a bit because this is a merry thing and but I made a watercolor paint of my two light things oh my goodness this looks horrible this yeah um then I wrote about Exogen Lichy's Japan debut uh my favorite song should continue with you Diamond Crystal and girl problems. Then I wrote a bit about um, my beautiful Monster X lightsaber and about Monster X coming to Berlin, which I couldn't attend because I was going to South five days later, so I had to make. Yeah. And here's my here's the end of my first uh, journal. Um, when did I end this? 10th June 2017. And then I continued with this moody one. It's a big setter, uh, a bit, wow, well, wow. Well. And I did some things different in this one because I did not only write the news and albums in there, I did like um, spreads for bands. And so I started with my ultimate band, B184. Well, this is so funny because. Thunder is my Rekka anymore. Thunder is like my ultimate bias, as you can see at the end of the book. You can, yeah. Um, I really like how this turned out with the colors, and yeah. I tried a bit of calligraphy, but why oh, so much? Then Monster X. This. A bias page. This is the book where I said to bias pages where I can choose stuff why I like this bias. So, um, one for Minyok, and then I wrote some ins about my new Instagram filter, which I didn't use for long. And recent purchases I made. I wrote about Produce 101 and 10 101. I did a little collage of New York in here because I like I like how this looks. Then I did a uh, yeah. INFPT page and I dropped down the Starka days. Then I did Infinite, which is also one of my ultimate groups with B184. I've always loved them. Then my vice page for Mingyu. I can't even. Uh, I stuck two sides here because I don't know. Then I wrote down what I did in South. I to hide, try to hide my name there. So yeah. And then I wrote about FF9. And about Halo. I'm going to see Halo in March this year live, so I'm very excited. My bias own, if you're interested. And then I wrote about Pentagon. Wow, uh, it took me ages to get into Pentagon and just with light this seriously light this was the era I got into Pentagon so I decided to make a like this lyric spread was my very first one I tried my best writing pretty Korean but my handwriting is a mess um, but I really like how this turned out with the colors I'm sorry with the colors and then I wrote a little bit about me young because I haven't done it yet
just because I wanted to know what I actually have, but I think I forgot a lot. Then I wrote about twice, likey, 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 twice again. And then um, it was Ujin's birthday, and I wrote a little bit about Youngmin because he was so rude at the fan meeting. Then I did a bias pitch for Ujin. And one for Jaewon, who I really like because the colors, the, the purplish is really. I like this piece. This picture of Jaewon is really pretty. Um, I did a demo too, of course. Um, then I did uh, Nothing Without You by uh, 101. I just wrote the lyrics of um, the intro, about the code from Monster X. I went overboard with the hearts on Sunder's picture here. The, oh, I really like these pages um, about the boys. Um, someone on Instagram com commented it saying it looks like pop art and it really cheered me up. So I really like how this turned out. Hangyeon is my bias, just so you know, but I really like Jacob as well. Um, then Stupid Innes pasted the pages. I held the book upside down and I didn't realize until I was finished. So I did a spread for Jongyeon, but to cover my letter, letter, I stuck two page pictures on there. So let's just skip this. Then I wrote about Chinese because they were my first ever group back in 2008 and about girls' generation. And then I wrote about Hugax only you, and I think I misspelled his name here. Mm, I wrote about Super Junior's play and NCT Dream's Joy, which was like wild. This, this song was wild. Then I wrote about Christmas Days from Starship Planet, and it, then it was Young Man's birthday. And then. Stray Kids! Yeah, Stray Kids happened. Felix is my bias, and oh my god, this show wrecked me. This show wrecked me so hard. Anyways, then I made a lyric spread for One of Those Nights by Red Velvet because it's one of my favorite songs from them and I really like the visuals in this in this music video and I really really like this song. And then I did one for In My Room from Shiny. Um, I really like how this turned out with the blue. As blue is my favorite color. I Yeah. I wrote a few words about Master Key and One One Go. And then came my mom around. Well, more like right now. Then I wrote about day six. My bias is one pill, and Sungjin is my record. He's so cute. Then I wrote about nine music because I was. I wrote about them because I was so angry how they were treated and how much F they went through. So then, oh my goodness. Um, I wrote about Hakyu um, and Attention Love, a Taiwanese drama I really enjoy. And then I wrote about Golden Child. And then I wrote about One On fa Premier Fan Con. And then I wrote about What We Wanted for has been up to in 2017. Then I wrote about Yojung, a bias pitch about Yojung. Yes, I also have female biases. And then I wrote about Inji, she's been my bias like forever. And then there's Sugi. And then I wrote about my 2017. Um, like what happened. And yeah. I wrote a ton about Sister and I even messed up the pages because I cried. So that's that happened. And then I decided to do the same for seven, uh, for NCT, so I tried to keep track of the months, but I guess I did some mistakes somewhere. And then to finish off the on something I stick in this beautiful picture of Tanyol. And then we start with 2018. I wrote some about the all k of rumors. Um, then I wrote about uh, Infinite's uh, Topsy comeback. And then I made my bias pitch for Loan and for Hui and for Nanjun and Hechan and for Mark and for Sandu. I really like how this turned out because it's so cute. I, I like this washi tape and I, I didn't even know I had that one. And then I did one about Uhyun. And then I wrote about Olympic from Golden Child, Ring a Golden Child. And are you ready? This show is so funny. And then 
finally top seed came on and i was so excited for top seed so i spent a lot of pages on them i wrote about every single track and yeah i just love this album i miss them so much seriously you guys won't believe how much i miss them then MXM had their comeback with Diamond Girl and their mini album called Matchup, so I wrote a bit about that. Yeah, I, I, I love Diamond Girl. Uh, and then I wrote a, a line of Diamond Girl at Jubilee IQ that I wrote for myself. And that's it. That is uh, the end so far. I still have a few pages to fill. But I hope you liked this video. I really tried to show it as quick as possible because there's so much to see. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Write me a comment if you have a journal as well and I could check out a slip through or something. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter. Read my fan pictures on Wattpad and we see you next time. Bye!